Hey Bobcats, this is all right here. This is the final newscast for the 2019-2020 school year. It was supposed to go out the Tuesday COVID-19 shut us down. So we went back and tweaked it a little bit, showing where we thought we were going and how things really turned out. Before you view the newscast, I want to invite you to participate in a summer writing project. BHS will be putting together a history book to be bound and published showing how the coronavirus changed our schooling, our lives, and our community. Just tell us how your life changed. And with just a bit of light editing, we'll publish your piece. It's not a contest, simply a school project we can all participate in. Send them to bhsmedia at casuschools.org. So here's the final newscast of 2020. Congratulations, seniors, and everyone have a fun and safe summer. Welcome to your BHS News episode 12. I saw testing is coming up soon and we know what you're thinking. Why does it matter? Why do we have to do it? Skip SATs and ISATs and ACTs and all of that. Comptez jusqu'à trois, messieurs, mesdames, et l'un de vous disparaîtra jamais. Gloria! Gloria! Are all the lights off? I think so. Everything except for the bench lamp. All right. I'm going to turn this off now. I need you to tell me if you can see anything. Anything at all. Susie, I'm scared. What's happening? I need them to be as blind as I am. Do you understand? I understand. Now, is there any light? Can you see anything? No. It's completely dark. Good. Now, I need you to phone the bus station at... graduation we want to thank all the parents and members of each and every club that supported Burley High School and helped us get through this graduation so thank you guys but first spring break basically 216 hours away from these walls some will sleep hours away others will travel far away but others will spend time on video games <laughs> we talk to students and staff see what they'll be up to what do you like to do for spring break just hang out with the boys you know Andy what do you like to do during spring break I like to look at rocks, and this year I'm going to Oregon to look at rocks. Sam, what do you like to do for spring break? I like to vacation. Tell him what do you like to do for spring break? Go out with the boys, you know. What do you guys like to do for spring break? Um, I'd like to sit in bed and do nothing. <laughs> Softball, mostly. Probably going to be a super puncher. What are you guys going to do for spring break? Well, you see, my birthday's on spring break, so I'll be turning 17. 40! <laughs> what are you going to do for spring break? Well, I'm going to work in my yard, and I'll probably go to Boise and see my daughter. Hang out with all my grandbabies, and play my cat and pester everybody. <laughs> and. No homework. Awesome. But, sorry kids, you might have homework. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing for spring break? Going to paradise. 
city? Arizona. Oh, that'll be fun. Arizona's paradise. Best state in the United States of America. All right, nice and warm. You got your mountains, you got your deserts, you got your lakes, you got your canyons. You got everything you need in Arizona in March. I did not go to paradise. And I didn't get any brown. What are you guys gonna do for spring break? Sleep a lot. Go to a Motley Crue concert. Yeah! <laughs> Sleep and then run. I'm going to Vegas. Sleeping, lots and lots of sleeping. I'm gonna ball it up. Probably work. We're just, we're just chilling. We're just tearing out with yeah. it. Maybe a little bit of wrestling in between, yeah, but bit. for the most part, we are with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and go dress shopping for my sister who's getting married. <laughs> Aubrey, what are you doing for spring break? Working. <laughs> Probably just gonna take lots of naps, so <laughs> going to Hawaii. Oh. What are you doing for spring break? Going to some motocross races in Delta Utah. Oh. <laughs> Abigail Joe Gibby, what are you doing for spring break? I'm going to the dentist. Saul, what are you doing for spring break? I'm going to Woodward to ski and skate. I'm going to California with the fam. What are you doing for spring break? I'm going to Disneyland. I'm going to Bear Lake. Probably going to go to Jackson, Wyoming and relax for a little while with my sister at my sister's place. Nice. <laughs> I'm probably going over to St. Anthony and ride dirt bikes. I'm going to Lincoln City, Oregon. Um, I'm supposed to be going on a cruise, but with the coronavirus, I don't know at this point. We did absolutely nothing. And I was supposed to go to Disneyland, but with the coronavirus, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> uh, probably just work. Yeah, just work. Mr. Milliron, what are you doing for spring break? <laughs> Going to get 4-H pigs. 4-H pigs. I'm going to St. George. I'm going to be sleeping in my bed. <laughs> Hopefully having this baby. What are you doing for spring break? Going to Hawaii. I'll be working. Making the money. <laughs> what are you doing for spring break? I'm working over spring break. What are you doing for spring break, Isaiah? Big games. Playing games. Mosiah, what are you doing for spring break? I'm getting my wisdom teeth out and uh, I'm, gonna... I'm going to St. George and laying by the pool. What are you doing for spring break? I'm working. Making money. <laughs> shirts can I wear on my shoulders? To be school appropriate, you have to have two inches or at least three fingers covering your shoulders. Let's do three fingers. Okay. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> bam. And bam. Thank you. You're welcome. Kelsey, how short can my skirt be? Skirts and shorts must be finger length. Yeah. So that would be to about Okay, nice. Okay, maybe not that short. About there, and this goes for dudes too. Thanks, Kelsey. You're welcome, LaFonda. LaFonda has to wear a dress today for a project. Is this school appropriate? LaFonda says no. Here's a better looking kind of dress that's more school appropriate. Can we maybe find a cuter one? LaFonda, I found this really cute skirt. Kelsey, don't you think that's a little short for the dress code? Oh yeah, doesn't meet the length. So, nope. Billy Labu Fun. <laughs> Our beautiful, I forgot what they're called. Our videoer. Cameraman. Cameraman. 
camera man. Here we go. Take your art. Oh, this my. shirt's pretty cute. It's a little cute. Oh, crop. my eyes through that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to be saying? Loopers. I'm gonna say this crusty shirt. Uh oh. Crop tops are not allowed either. Are they? No showing the belly. No showing of the belly is allowed at Burberry High School. Here, LaFonda, what about this dress? I mean, it's not, it's not cute, but three fingers and past your hands. I mean, it's not the cutest, so maybe I should upgrade my closet. <laughs> Speaking of hat days, there's one coming up on March 20th, and it's only one dollar, so bring your dollars, and then you can wear that thing. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Here's some facts about the Burley High School participants in the Distinguished Young Women program. BHS had 14 out of the 31 participants. Jenna Blacker, Rachel Parkinson, McKenna Wells, Shayna Fisk, Ahara Jensen, Clarissa Salazar, Isabel Morgan, Marissa Bodley, Lauren Cook, Eliza Taylor, Rebecca Anderson, Cameron Bradshaw, Abby Gibby, and Jesse Oman. Congratulations, the BHS students received a total of $6,875 in scholarships. Congratulations. Oh, hey guys, here I am turning all my stuff back into Burley High School. This is such a crazy end to our school year and it's so sad to see it end this way. But I've enjoyed being your student body president this year and I can't wait to see everything that you guys accomplished.